So like I said, setup wise you're standing in a really good position there. Okay, right. nothing really wrong with that. There wasn't too much of a reach. Arms are hanging down nicely from the shoulders. Problem was in your swing, there was definitely a reach out with the arm that you came back into impact. And that all sort of came from golf balls ending up over there yeah. by means of you doing this and then you just trying to swing the golf ball as far left as you could. You were just doing whatever you could possibly to try and stop it going right. So therefore, in your mind, well, I'll just swing my arms as far left as I can and hope for the best kind yeah. of thing. And that's what was creating more and more slice. And as I said, from a cricketing background, to try and swing the golf club straight and keep the club face straight. If you do that from a path coming out to win and hold the club face straight, it's just going to create more and more slice. Yeah. Okay? So you can look at this one on the left hand side as you come into impact, how your club face now at this point is outside the golf ball, coming across the golf ball there with quite an open club face. You can see the path of that club shaft coming way outside there, right. club face open. This one here on the right hand side as the club comes back in, okay, you can see the club now attacking the golf ball more inside path and the shaft now is a lot more direct you see the difference that club yeah, is coming from yeah. now your arms are still a little bit outside okay you were probably there you've now gone here and in time we'd want to go somewhere about there yeah. so it's only small little adjustments you're going to make and in all honesty you're not going to make that big an adjustment anyway no. but for me the biggest visual thing you can take from it is the fact the club now the shaft of the golf club is staying left of the golf ball whereas here the shaft now is sort of dissecting the golf yeah, ball as you come yeah, through you this way yeah. and the club face is pretty square there it's just the path is going into the left so the spins created by the golf ball there and that just sends the ball off, off to the right there and then you sort of hang back on your right side to try and hit it left so by getting that club face squaring up now you can see as you swing through that club face now is sort of naturally rotating. Yeah. So at this point, the club face now is sort of 90 degrees pointing to yeah, the left, you see? Yeah. And again, so you're keeping your arms under your shoulders, rotating it through, ball starting down the target line as we can see, and you can then rotate through. And you can see your finished position now, that right foot starting to lift a little bit. Definitely a sign you're transferring your weight better. And I said the path of the club going out to in was creating your weight hanging back. If you just try to move your body left, with that same path, yeah. that would just be going miles right. So you've got to work in the correct sequence. People, I think, know what causes a slice, but the way they try and cure it is they'll try and change the wrong thing. Not try and change the fault, they'll just try and change the actual byproduct of what's going on. The same way to someone who's got a cough, don't cough. Yeah. It doesn't cure their cough, does it? No. Go to the doctors, get the medicine and so on, and cure yeah. the cough properly. Not just go, oh, don't cough, that's going to help it. All right. Or if you're losing balance, well, don't fall over. Well, I'm it, falling over for a reason, aren't you? So is, it, is that with every club, though? Well? Pretty much, yeah. I think the, the issue with more so with the drivers, A, it's got more speed, because you know, obviously create more of an issue with the body going back, yeah. okay? There's more force throughout that swing. And again, with the irons, you them pretty straight. Yeah, There's a couple yeah, that yeah. go a little bit right, because yeah, you've got yeah, more locked. Basically, the golf ball has side spin yeah. and backspin, okay? Yeah. The more loft you have, the more backspin you have. So therefore, the more backspin, the less side spin. So the less side spin you've got, the less yeah. the ball can... You can't slice a sand line, can you? No. Physically impossible. No. You can hook it a little bit, yeah. and yeah. you can push and pull it, yeah. but it's very hard to slice it, yeah. okay? With a driver with the 9, 10 degrees of loft that you've got, most of your shots, if you're not careful, are going to be either spinning one way or the other. So if you can reduce the side spin by becoming more direct, and it's almost saying that, a more direct hit this way, yeah. more distance, without you hitting it harder. Yeah. Okay, make sense? Yeah, definitely. Good man.